Hey guys, Josiah here, Swim Decaters at uh, thinkorswim.net, and uh, made some updates to the relative volume or time based volume indicator package. And so I wanted to go over those updates real quick with everybody to show you what's new, uh, what's changed, and some of the new features here. So uh, here I am on a spy chart, uh, five minute intraday. I'm going to go pull up and add all the uh, indicators time based. And I'm going to add time-based volume, time-based trades, and time-based shares per trade. And so you'll see those pop up here. Okay, so in the previous version, I just had uh, some, uh, usually you were used to the blue-colored uh, highlighting whenever there was a high-volume bar. Uh, I've changed this up a little bit, so I want to show you some of the settings in here. Uh, so we've got volume, trades, and shares per trade showing here and um, in the settings for volume here we you can see we have uh, the ability to customize the number of look back days or the days that the average is calculated from so um, essentially with this indicator uh, it looks at any given time uh, say you know the 9:30 a.m. bar and it will calculate an average for just that bar over the last, in this case, 10 days, and then compare the current bar's volume to that average for that, just for that bar. So um, you can set the number of days to calculate that average based upon right here. And um, you can additionally, the, the new feature in this is that you can set the coloration percentages and the cap spikes percent as well to help with the, the scaling and everything. So uh, you'll see here I have uh, some bars are dark gray, some are light gray, some are blue, and some are yellow. And so the dark gray is just the um, below average coloration and you can change that color right here. The light gray is above average, slightly above average. The uh, blue is high above average, and you can set the color for that, uh, or set the percentage for that right up here with the high above average percent. Uh, right now it's set to 200%. So anytime volume is 200% of the average volume for that bar, then it will color it blue. And then uh, you can additionally set the max above average. Uh, currently this is set at 300%, so anytime the current bar's volume is 300% or more of the um, average for that bar, then it will color it yellow. Uh, you can also set a cap spikes percentage uh, for any bars that are just extremely high. Um, you can cap that just so the scale doesn't get squished down too too hard, and uh, that it and then it's uh, too hard to actually look at the detail of what's going on. So you can you can um, cap those spikes at whatever percentage you want show you an example here so that squeeze these down and see if you if you look at here you can see that uh, all these bars were an unusually high number of shares per trade and um, they all were above the uh, cap spikes so they all got truncated there t so that the scaling wouldn't be affected too badly so that's how that works. You can set those uh, percentages for each of these indicators, both the, the volume, the trades, and the shares per trade. Uh, the shares per trade, you're probably going to want to set that at different percentages than the volume and the, sh uh, and the uh, trades because it's, uh, it's looking at a ratio or a, uh, of the two. But, um, and you can also set the cap spikes percent, and again, that will probably need to be something a little different from the uh, volume and the shares, or volume and the trades. Uh, but again, uh, all those colors are customizable, all the percentages are customizable, and so that's the intraday updates that we've done. Um, now, switching over to a daily chart of the SPY here, I'm going to go ahead and pull up time-based volume for the daily chart and I have these available uh, for the daily, the weekly, and the monthly as well as those intradays that we just looked at and so these have all been updated so that you can uh, set the number of look-back years, 
uh, the percentages, and uh, you can also on these customize the number of bars um, for uh, the number of trading days in the year. Um, again, you can set all these colors. You can turn on or off the uh, average line if you do or don't want it there and uh, set all that. And so that's going to be the same on the weekly and the monthly as well. Um, and I can go ahead and show these. Let's see. But I'll need to switch out to a weekly chart for the weekly to be valid. So there we go. And then the monthly chart for that to be valid. Oops. There we go. And uh, another thing I've added here is just to make this simpler, I've, I've included little tool tips or hints here to explain what each uh, setting is. And um, I've also included tool tips along here as well so you'll have an explanation of what each one is. So that hopefully will um, help everybody um, figure out uh, and get used to using the indicators. The main, the main thing you need to know about these indicators is that you need to have, for the intraday indicators, you need to have the extended hours turned off for it to be, um, uh, to calculate accurately. And uh, for all of the indicators, whether, whether in intraday or the long-term charts, uh, you just need to make sure that you have enough data loaded onto the chart uh, more years than the look-back years that's specified in the indicator here. So if you specify three years here, you need to make sure you have more than three years loaded. And see here it shows that I, my default is 20 years on the monthly chart, 20 years on the weekly, 20 years on the daily. And on the five minutes or the intraday charts, just make sure that this number of days is greater than the number of days uh, in the look back period in the intraday indicator. Uh, let me just show you that one more time. So if you go in here and this is set to 10 by default, well, you need to have at least 10 years worth of five minute bars loaded on your chart. And so I have, or 20. Uh, 10 days worth of uh, data loaded on your chart. And so I have 20 days worth of data, and so that meets the requirement. So you just need to have more bars loaded on the chart than what the average is actually calculating based on in order for it to show anything. If, if you don't have that set up correctly, it's not going to show anything down here. So that's, that's one little bit of confusion that some people have because a lot of people don't have more than 10 days loaded on their intraday charts, and so that causes a little bit of confusion. But as long as you remember that, keep keep the number of uh, keep the amount of data on the chart greater than the uh, look back period in the indicator, then you should should be fine. Um, if you guys have any questions about any of this, as always, just send me an email on the site at thinkorswim.net. Uh, I'm always available to uh, answer support questions or inquiries via email. I'm pretty responsive; usually get back within an hour or so. So just uh, drop me a line. Uh, let us know if you have any special requests or anything, and uh, thanks for watching. Talk to you later.